Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December 20th of 2021. Well, it is titled the comet and the fireball. So what do we see here? Well, we see two different streaks in the sky objects moving in the sky, and one of them moving very quickly. And that is the fireball that is the larger streak going straight up and down almost and down maybe a little bit towards the left. This is a fireball, which is actually a very large meteor. And this was part of the Geminid meteor shower that occurred recently. And when a meteor strikes the Earth's atmosphere, it vaporizes in there in the atmosphere, and it will burn up. So it gets heated up to very high temperatures, and never makes it down to the ground, it takes a relatively good sized object to make it through to the ground. And most of the things that we see as meteors or even fireballs are much smaller than that. Now here we see this one and we see that it has a distinct green color. And we also can look up above and to the right of it a little bit and see another streak, this one being Comet Leonard. Now we note that they both have the same color and same same uh, general shape. However, they are quite different. A meteor when it appears flashes across the sky and is gone in seconds. A comet will just sit there. So you could come back and look at that look a little while later. And the meteor or fireball would be long gone and the comet would still be sitting in the same space. Comets do not streak across the sky like a meteor. They move slowly among the stars much like a planet does. So you would slowly see it if you looked at it over a number of days, you would see the comet slowly moving relative to the stars. But meteors are just a one shot. And once they're done, once they're there, they're gone. Now we do notice that they both have kind of a green color to them. And these are actually for different reasons. The green in the comet is probably due to carbon atoms that were ejected from the nucleus and are being excited. So we have a diffuse gas there. And when a diffuse gas is excited, it gives off specific colors based on what it is made of. Now in this case, however, if for the uh, meteor and the fireball, that's actually something different. This is likely due to magnesium. So magnesium that comes off of the core and then is heated up there and gives that very distinct color. So it can be the, can get the green color for very different reasons, depending on the specific atoms that happen to be present within the material. So the uh, comet would have a lot of carbon in it. And this would have and the meteor would have had magnesium in it. And th those both would give a somewhat green color and we can see them somewhat different here. Uh, but also uh, one a little more stronger than the other when we look at the fireball. So we can see two similar looking objects, but actually quite different in what they are. So that was our picture of the day for December 20th of 2021. It was titled the comet and the fireball. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a solar Milky Way. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.